buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E X C A P A R, for 5% off your entire purchase. All right, so I realized that Clutch Time has been out for a little while. I haven't made a video on the best cards you guys should be using in here. So since I'm almost done with getting Lilith, I figured before I do my final, you know, push up to the Lilith, I'll show you guys the best cards, or at least a way to find the best cards to use in Clutch Time, even after, you know, this video becomes a little bit outdated. So the like button down below if you guys do enjoy. Comment down below if there's anybody that you think I miss, and hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. So before I show you guys you know how you can kind of cheat your way into it i'm going to show you guys uh, the actual lineup which is right here typically what i'm running out here is gary payton clay thompson carmelo anthony um the power forward kind of switches a little bit i was running aaron gordon for a while but right now i'm running shrimp because shrimp um has a lot of badges that i really think have been helpful um and then nikola vucevic just because i like a shooting center um and sometimes i will sub him out for maybe like al horford who actually has been pretty nice surprise for me or uh wong chishi who's been really nice for me as well dude this is a demon uh, especially on a budget He's a god, some of you definitely want to have in the lineup. So, um, generally the idea that I have for the lineup is Gary Payton is in here just to kind of play some defense, do some playmaking, and do his kind of typical, you know, Gary Payton things. Um, I really don't change the point guard all too often. If I am going to run a different point guard, I'll probably run Marcus Smart. Again, same kind of idea. I like defensive point guards that can playmake really, really well uh, because my offense is getting run through play. If I'm just trying to get dubs, Klay Thompson is the one that I'm running everything through, and obviously we know Klay Thompson is one of the best offensive cards, like, ever, <laughs> especially 2K22. Like, we're talking a 96 three-point shot. Klay Thompson jump around quick. He's got the shifty dribble style. He can dunk. He can play, make. He can play amazing defense. He has an awesome speed. And clamps, dimer, catch and shoot, quick first step. Like, I'm running all my offense through Klay, um, and he has a pretty key badge, which is limitless spot up, which has really actually helped me as well. Chef, uh, the guy that we got... Just running around, you know, doing his thing is going to be Carmelo Anthony because Carmelo is six foot eight and is seriously one of the best shooters I've used ever in 2K. 95 th uh, midi, 93 three point shot, um, and then has some of the best, you know, shooting badges we could have. Mismatch expert, blinders, rhythm shooter, dead eye, hot zone hunter, volume shooter. So the more that you chuck up with this Melo, he's crazy. Um, and then hyper drive because I love, like, really, really love doing those hop steps and stuff. So uh, Carmelo just comes in super clutch. Uh, Detlef Shrimp has is probably one of the best power forwards you can use right now because he is six foot ten, has catch and shoot, sniper, set shooter, volume shooter, and corner specialist, all for his shooting on Hall of Fame. Has gold glue hands, gold clamps, interceptor, blinders, and limitless spot up, which is just massive for a guy running a power forward. Um, not just for Vucevic because he's a shooting center that I have. Um, that I got for free, so he kind of just finds his way into most of the lineups. Uh, but he's got a 93 point shot, he can finish a bit, he can play a bit of defense, rebounds really well. Uh, and has full tape, sniper, touch shooter, catch a shoot, all there, and can set screens. So, you know, there's that. But if you guys want to find a way that you can actually, you know, find your own, we can head over if it actually lo loads for a second. Ooh. It's not fully popping up. There it is. It is 2KDB. This is a, obviously a website that basically everybody kind of uses. Uh, but there's a way that you can kind of cheat you know, your way into finding some cards. Uh, basically at any time for guys that are just really going to work well uh, for it. And just a way that you can kind of, I don't know, narrow it down. So in the badges, this is the, basically the most important badge is Limitless Spot Up. Not Limitless Takeoff, Limitless Spot Up. And you can kind of just scroll through um, who has it. Now bronze is going to be good. If a card has it on bronze, it's going to be nice. But what I would recommend is because a lot of cards are getting it, you want at least silver. So guys like, you know, James Harden, you know, Jalen Brown can still work. Uh, Marcus Gasol is going to be great. Um, it kind of just depends. Uh, but there's a lot of cards now that are getting it at least gold. And there's a few that have it on Hall of Fame. Uh, one being Drazen Petrovic. And this is a guy who I highly recommend using. Uh, this Drazen Petrovic is an absolute god. He's really, really cheap. Um, and you can get him... Uh, I think it's around 30-ish K. It may, the price may have varied, but the last time I looked, it was there. And Drazen has a 97 three-point shot, has blinders, catch and shoot, with limitless, and sniper all on Hall of Fame. He's gonna be one of the best shooters you're ever gonna use in my team. Has mismatch, chef, has gold clamps, and pick dodger as well. So he kind of plays that perfect kind of cone two guard uh, just to go around and shoot, which is awesome. And if you're running, you know, Steph Curry, he'll have a 99 three-point shot. Like this, Drazen Petrovic, one of the best shooters you could possibly use. 
um, in my team, which is awesome. Obviously, if you have you know Michael Red or you have Damian Lillard, I highly recommend using those. And even this Dr. J is a super slept on card that I think is really, really nice that a lot of people for some reason aren't using. Like the dude has limitless spot up and sniper both on Hall of Fame. He is a god. He was one of my favorite cards and he's actually pretty cheap on like 70k or below. Uh, which is pretty nice but uh, like I said a lot of these cards you want at least silver but there's a lot of them that have it on gold that you can still use and have some fun with obviously Ray Allen Devin Booker Carmelo Anthony like the, those are just crazy um, good cards you know Trey Young Jonas Valachunas Al Horford even has limitless spot up which is why I use from time to time Bill Russell is one of my favorite cards to use in this um, although I just sold him to because we have Friday content tomorrow and I just want to keep you know free cards um, they don't have too much value you know gold limitless spot up gold sniper Hall of Fame catch and shoot and for some reason, people just still are assuming that you can't green with Bill Russell, so you can just kind of chuck it up. Uh, plus, he's a great screen center, and he's a great all-around defender. Um, if you're somebody who's been struggling and you feel like you need a little bit more shooting and defense out of your center position, dude, this Bill Russell, it does not get better than that. You know, take this Bill Russell. If you finished off to get, you know, Steph Curry's perimeter centric, highly recommend running that. You get a 93 shot three Bill Russell with an 85 perimeter, almost 99s in both the rebounding. Look, the dude is just crazy. Seriously, one of the best you can run out there. Uh, but again, Al Horford, somebody that you can you know have some fun with. If you have Trey Young, he's great too. Jonas Valanciunas, I, a lot of people really really like this Jaron Jackson Jr. I personally haven't had a chance to try him out, but he does have you know limitless spot up and sniper on gold. Has catch and shoot in Hall of Fame. He's a great defender. Um, so for a big man, can actually be pretty nice. Um, and a super slept on card that's you know getting a little bit up there in price going into the 20ks now is Hedo Turkaloo. People sleep on Hedo. I actually. Uh, I was using this guy and was getting 15 a game in clutch time. And then, you know, Carmelo and Clay were kind of doing their own thing. Uh, but he was a 6'10", you know, guy that you can run as your power forward. Who, with this Curry boost, gets a 97 shot, 3, 85 driving dunk, 90 perimeter. Sadly, doesn't have the greatest of defense outside of the fact that he's a 90 perimeter defense. And he could, like, steal passes, you know, because he has gold interceptor. But he has Bullet Passer and Dimer, both on Hall of Fame, Catch, Shoot, and Sniper. And I know some people don't love his LaMarcus Aldridge release, but I really had fun with it. I've been able to just snipe uh, with this guy. He has limitless spot up as well, just a great shooter. Um, and as somebody who can really space the floor for you on a power forward, which is really hard to do, you know, with kind of how things are going. So generally, you just want to look for these guys who are, you know, somewhere around here um, and have some sort of limitless spot up. There's a lot of cards that you can see that are really nice. Um, I've seen DVGs had a bunch of fun with Kevin Herter. Justin Holiday is a great Ruby budget card. Uh, for this because he has you know the gold limitless gold blinders gold catch and has silver clamps as well so he's a good defender has a pretty decent jumper because it's the brook lopez base um so aaron holiday or justin holiday sorry really great um guys like jj reddick and kevin herter can be fun they just don't really have defense so you know uh that can be good um if that's what you're looking for and then obviously if you have the big ticket guys i would obviously go for those um, and then there's also a lot of really good guys who have, you know, limitless spot up on silver. And I guess I, this whole time I've been telling you that limitless spot up is the goal here. And the reason I, I guess I haven't really told you guys why it's so good. And it's because this is the badge that helps you shoot four pointers at a higher rate. Um, so if you're running really good plays, you're doing things like that, the limitless spot up will help you do catch and shoot four pointers a lot more consistently. Um, although I think they've changed it. So chef and limitless both do the same thing. So they'll help you just out for the four pointers no matter what. But either way, uh, Limitless Spot Up is really great. And there's also some good guys on silver. You know, Paul Gorge, Mark Gasol for a center. James Harden is great. Frank's, Franz Wagner, Wagner is great. I messed up his name so bad there. Um, it's actually pretty good. Wang Chi Chi is great. Silver Limitless Spot Up on a center. Seriously, is so, so, so good. Um, I just had a bunch of fun with him. And obviously, I guess the other card that we can look at, um, because there are some cards who have one and not the other. And we have Chef, also another really good badge you can look for. Um, again, Highly recommended on at least silver. That way, you know, Carmelo, John Wall, Larry Bird, or CJ McCollum. You know, you can be kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Chris Mullen. You know, you can have some pretty good cards. Uh, Eric Snow, a great Ruby budget card who can have some fun with out there. That um, Ruby Larry Bird is okay if you're running him as a power forward. Um, and then if we switch this to gold, there's a lot of cards that have it on gold. And, you know, Damian Lillard, Cliff Hagen, if you got him off the Ascension. Beautiful card. Julie Serving, again, just keeps popping up. Um, eventually, Dan Marley will be great for it. You know, Ray Allen's in book already talked about those. Steph Curry, Tracy McGrady, obviously a great card out there. Um, Dragon Petrovic is popping up again. James Harden again. There's Kyle Korver, who can be a good shooter, just absolutely no defense. Uh, Marcus Smart, um, and that sort of stuff. And then, obviously, we're also going to want cards that have, you know, clamps and stuff like that. But the badge that I think is actually the most important in clutch time, aside from Limitless Spot Up and Chef, 
is Interceptor. This badge is seriously one of the most clutch that you could have in the game. Um, obviously, we want it at least on silver to gold. But if you can pick up a few Hall of Fame Limitless or Interceptor cards, it is going to be crazy for you. And by a few, I mean Eddie Jones, Mikhail Bridges, shooting guard and small forward. These guys are going to absolutely kill it for you and just change up how you play defense because of that Hall of Fame Interceptor. Um, and Caruso can be great as well. My favorite out of this bunch is obviously Mikhail Bridges. I have talked so much about how much I love this Mikhail. Uh, but second, I would definitely put this Eddie Jones. And you even have Caruso. And the reason for this is the fact that the court is so small in clutch time. If you have a lot of guards that have at least gold interceptor, a high pass interception tendency, uh, which you can check in here, they will be snagging passes so, so, so consistently. Um, it just really helps you out just in general have a really good time out there. Now, you know, this is just a base of how to find good cards and the best cards you can you know, run in this clutch time. Again, interceptor, limitless spot up, clamps, chef. Look for those cards, and you're going to be going on an absolute journey out here. But obviously, there's some other steps to it, um, depending on what you like to do. Um, and there's, you know, all these settings and different things. There's no wheel spin method. Don't let anybody's tricking to that. But if you want to see, you know, what defensive settings stuff I use, I'm 43 and 10. I've lost a few, you know, that last second buzzer beater when you're in a close game. Um, I've just barely been on the bad side of a few of those, which, you know, it happens from time to time, and I just got to go in here to have some fun and mess around with some new cards. But if you want to see some of the best settings and stuff like that, you can run into clutch time to make sure you win every time. Even though it is only five minutes, um, I can make a video on that. Just let me know down in the comments as well. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed And if there's any cards I didn't talk about that you guys have been using in clutch time that have been absolutely crazy, that maybe aren't even on my radar, let me know down in the comments, and I'll have to give them a shot. I um, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.